Second day of school, fit check. Well, actually my third day of school. But my second day was online, so it doesn't really count. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Let me cross this crosswalk, bitch, with a flower in my hair, bitch. I think it was a carnation, do you? In most intelligent races, as among the Parisians, there are a large number of women whose brains are closer in size to those of gorillas than to the most developed, oh my God. I mean, I get that he's from 1879, but his main crime is being French. And saying this, oh my gosh, um, they represent the most inferior forms of human evolution, and they are closer to children and savages than to an adult civilized man. They excel in fickleness, in, in, in constancy, absence of thought and logic, and incapacity of reason. Without doubt, there exist some distinguished women, very superior to the average man, but they are as exceptional as the birth of any monstrosity, as for example, of a gorilla with two heads. Oh my God. <laughs> there are men today who would honestly say the same shit, but oh my God. <laughs> Another prophesied that women would grow bigger and heavier brains and that their uterus would shrink if they went to college. That's something I've heard a lot. And guess what? It's on my fucking test. <laughs> what the fuck is this class, dude? That's so funny. This is something new to me. Finally fucking something new. I've been waiting for days to learn something. 40%... 42% of all women admitted to mental institutions were college educated compared with only 16% of the men. I'd be very interested to see these stats today. Maybe I can look them up and see what it's like today. That's very interesting to me. To the person that commented on my video the other day, this is so grippy socks coated. Are you calling me college educated? Is that what you're calling me? Ah, finally a sexist take I agree with. Whereas males are basically little piglets. You drop them in the ditch and they roll around in it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Of course, a man named Newt would say that. And his name is Newt. Calling them little piglets, drop them in a ditch, they'll run around and do it. It doesn't matter. This makes no sense. I don't believe this at all. I'm not supposed to believe it. I know that's the point, but I just had to explain another reason why I don't believe it, apart from the obvious reason explained right underneath it. Because it says that women like pink because they need to identify ripe berries and fruit. More blueberries are edible and non-toxic than red berries. Red berries are usually toxic. That makes no fucking sense. Stop. Stop. You're fucking getting me. Oh, yes. After a millennia, women are so demure. Women are so demure. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm a month ahead in my gender and sexualities class now. Should I take a break? Should I keep going? I don't know. Never mind. We're not going ahead. We're not going ahead anymore because I'm not ready to handle this question. I'm really not. I've been talking about this on this vlog channel for like the past couple of years, but I'm not ready to put it into written word. I'm really not. This is just going to inspire me to read the comp het doc again. I'm going to read the comp het master doc and then maybe I'll come back to this class. I guess that you can learn things if you go to college, but you can't be like me, I guess, and go into things you're already passionate about. Because when I'm passionate about something, I just know about it. I'm just naturally going to go on many, many uh, wormhole. A wormhole? Is that what I'm trying to say? No. A hole that you crawl into. A Google hole? What am I trying to say? But like if I went to college for like rocks, like geology, I don't know that much about rocks. I would learn a lot, but I would also be dumb in it. So I guess that's what's probably happening to me. Cause like once I take a math class, it's gonna be over for me. I'm gonna be needing tutoring. Feel like that's the word I was looking for the earlier, like ten minutes ago. DFTBA, thank you, Crash Course. My homework teaching me something. I mean, I knew that, but I couldn't think of it. I'm really struggling with my spiritual psychosis, especially like the past couple weeks, because like it just feels like everything's going good for me, and when everything's going good for me, I'm like, this can't be real. I must be in a coma. Everything's gonna be taken from me. Everything's gonna be ripped away from me. It's probably some sort of trauma response. But also, like, I'm going to school. I've always wanted to go to school. Somebody I'm a really big fan of has been, like, FaceTiming me and texting me and meeting my friend. That's surreal. The other day, I was listening to his music, 
and then he called me and I was like that's fucking like that kind of shit makes my brain think I'm not real like it, I'm really struggling with dissociation and then oh, I'm trying to think of a word and then it pops up on my homework and then like the kiki boba thing like whatever the fuck it is and everything just lines up but the thing is it's my own fault because I asked God I said God please send me some synchronicities to prove I'm on the right path and then all these synchronicities pop up and then I go I'm in a coma I'm in a coma I'm in a coma Oh, that's not spiritual psychosis. It is, but I'm not ready to explain to you the, the ways in which it is because I will sound so narcissistic and I'm really just manic. Here is today's outfit of the day. We got the Bobby back, Bobby back, Bobby Jack t-shirt, classic, classic. Actually wearing pants for once after Multiple days of skirt wearing to school. My bangs are wet, not greasy. They'll dry on the way. My freaking teacher's playing Dixie Chicks on my Zoom class. My whole class can see me right now. I did not turn off my camera. I do not care. Um, guys, my teacher just said Skibidi Toilet Ohio Riz. I'm not kidding. It's in my linguistics class. Also, look, it's my man. Oh my god, guys. Our teacher just asked us if we were more demure or more brat. I piped up. I said, I will personally be having a brat summer year round. I am, I did not identify with demure. And then we had like a whole fucking combo about demure. And demure was in my reading of my other class the other day. Life is crazy. Life is just so funny. Life is so mean me when your teachers are like, well, your teacher is also like, I am a brat. <laughs> My first English class of the day, yes, I'm addicted to nicotine again. I'm not ready to talk about it, and I'm not, definitely not ready to hear about it from your ass. No comments, please. No comments. No paparazzi. No paparazzi. <sighs> anyway, first English class, we watched Michael Jackson music video. Second English class of the day, we watch etymology nerd TikTok videos and talk about slang. And also talk about boomer ellipses and other things. Also, love my man. Then, what's going to happen in my third English class? Hopefully something serious, because my teacher knows German. I feel like German people and people who speak German are serious. But she's also from Texas, so who the fuck knows what's gonna happen in my next class. Three English classes, one day. Every Thursday, fucking, I have 9, 8 a.m. English class, 9.30 English class, 11 English class. <laughs> I'm so fucking ready for syllabus week to be over, though. I'm like, let me learn things. Let's put this money to good use. Why am I paying a bunch of money for a piece of paper and no knowledge? I don't like it. It reminds me of high school. I can't talk to you right now. Someone's doing something. I'm gonna talk to you anyways. They can't stop me. It's just like when I went to high school, I was so excited to learn new things, but the only new thing I learned was evolution because my private school education was really good minus the religious aspects of it. And then they were teaching us out of college textbooks too. And they were doing like college curriculum like with my history class and everything. So like A-push was a fucking breeze for me in high school and just like college, I, it's looking like it's just gonna be a fucking breeze for me because I learned everything I was gonna learn by eighth grade is what it feels like. I can yell too, machine. College is like low key destroying my confidence though because the teacher will ask a question and then everyone will chime in with the same answer and just rephrase each other's answer and be like, yeah, piggybacking off of that. And then they just paraphrase what the person, other person just said. And then I feel bad because I'm like, I have a different idea. And then I pipe up with my idea. And then the teacher, and it's always what the teacher is looking for. Like today, the example is, we are talking about ellipses. And everyone was saying, oh, it means someone's taking a pause. Oh, it means they're starting a new idea. Oh, it means this. And I was like, I means they're fucking geriatric. I didn't say that though. I said, to me, it really shows someone's age. Because in my generation, at least with my friends, we usually start a new text or do a couple of commas or three commas. Oh, my teacher's here. I gotta go. Anyways, and then the etymology in her video she shows next is called Boomer Ellipses. Hmm. I wonder what answer she was looking for. But I feel stupid like an idiot. But I'm gonna just keep talking anyways, because apparently I'm not. Here's my question about school. And this is college or high school or any school I've ever been to. I've never been able to figure out the answer to this question. When do I answer questions? Okay, obviously when the teacher asks you questions... 
you can raise your hand, you can answer. Okay, but I just answered a question. Now someone else should get a turn to answer a question. But the teacher's sitting there waiting for someone to answer the question. 10 seconds goes by. 20 seconds goes by. I feel awkward. I feel bad for the teacher. I feel bad for the people who are stressed and not wanting to answer the question. Do I answer the question after 20 seconds? What if I already answered two questions in a row? Obviously, it's my turn to shut the fuck up. But then I'm feeling bad for the teacher, their silence. And then somebody else feels bad for the teacher, perks up, answers the question. Wrong. Wrong answer. I could have saved them. I could have, but I didn't. I don't understand when I'm supposed to answer questions because obviously I'm not supposed to answer too many, right? I'm not supposed to be a know-it-all. But I know all the answers. I do know it all, not in the world, but in most English classes. So what do I do? I'm just supposed to sit there uncomfortable because I'm fine as long as I get my participation points, right? Like I answer two questions, I'm good for the day. Participation points on lock. Like I'm fine. I'm so confused. Fucking this happened today. And guess who got the question wrong? Rachel. <laughs> I mean, this happened today as in this happened over and over and over again today. Not just one situation where it happened. So I'm just trying to figure out I feel like for now, my, my method is going to be once I've answered two to three questions, I'm done for the day. Unless, unless I really need to say something because I can't be, I can't be the only one talking in class. It's so fucking embarrassing. But then other people talk and they're wrong and that's more embarrassing for me. I get a second embarrassment so bad. I'm not judging them. Like, I don't think they're stupid other than Rachel. It's just, I don't want to put them through that. Also, like, I'm not trying to say I'm smarter than anyone or people are stupid. Like, I'm an English major, so of course, and I'm that's something I'm interested in, that's something I'm passionate about, that's something I've been surrounded in my whole life. So, of course, I'm going to be better at it than somebody who's majoring in fucking rocket science or whatever the fuck one of the people in my 8 a.m. this morning is majoring in. He's like, what did he even fucking say? He said something crazy, and I was like, that's a fucking degree. I feel like it was something to do with weapons manufacturing or something. I can't remember. Oh, I feel like it was something maybe even to do with nuclear energy. I can't remember. I really can't. But, like, see, I don't even remember what his degree is in. Like, so, of course, people that are good at science might not be good <coughs> that good at English. What I'm frustrated about is not my peers. <coughs> I'm frustrated <coughs> that I don't understand social etiquette. And I'm never having, never will. That's the thing that I was frustrated about that I'm ranting about the whole when do I answer questions and when do I not. And the other thing I'm frustrated about with school is I feel like I haven't learned anything yet. And I feel like somebody is paying a lot of money for me to learn something. So I'm like, I better learn something quick. But um, I don't know. We did some practice in my last class today with um, like breaking down words like breaking down more words into like morphemes and like what kind of morphemes they are whether they're like derivational or inflectional is that even the word Infle inflectional yeah but um that that was like some good hands-on stuff and I feel like I got good practice with that but then I'm like do I need that to be a writer also like I don't know I don't know like it's like I don't learn anything and I'm pissed and then I learn something and I'm like but am I going to use this? What am I even going to use this? Which I know is so, like, cliche to be like, um, but teacher, when are we going to use this in real life? But, like, I'm going to college because I want to learn things for my real life. So, I don't know if I should switch majors. I don't really want to do that. I think, I think when I get into working on my master's and I get into harder classes, I think that'll be good for me. Because, <laughs> but also part of me is like, honestly, actually, just keep it really easy keep it like this high school level that it's at right now <sighs> let me just like get easy a's and get like an easy degree that's that's what another half of me says but the main half of me the half that's winning is like let me fucking learn something even if it's hard just let me get better at shit you know i don't know okay, uh what? Guys, I'm so dizzy, dizzy, nauseous, but you can't tell, right? I don't know, you can tell. I can definitely tell my face is so swollen. I'm going through a really intense flare-up right now. I feel like someone roofied me last night. Like, I feel so nauseous and so dizzy, and I can't see, really. 
but I gotta go to college. I just tripped. I am on my class clown arc on accident. Like I made a joke on Monday, not even that funny. It's Friday, it's still being brought up. Multiple times in class, my joke got brought up. I'm, I'm so silly. Well guys, my car is dead. My car battery is dead. So I have to sit here and wait for someone to jump it, which is great because I'm grateful that I have people that will come jump my car. That's a great life to live. And but it's a little hard to practice radical acceptance and radical gratitude when I feel like I was roofied. I feel like I might pass out at any given second. The world is all, woo, woo, woo. I can't really see out of my eyeballs. I can't really hear that good. This is probably the worst thing for me right now, but I don't know what to do because I'm supposed to be in Mackie right now. I'm supposed to be on my way to my cabin home. I'm supposed to be on my way to the birds and the bunnies and my car won't fucking start. My body's not working right. I've got so much fucking homework to do this weekend in my cabin home with my birds and bunnies. I just want to be there. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. My neighbor is doing fucking construction. You're not supposed to go to fucking the cabin and hear construction noises. I they better not work through the weekend. I swear to God, if they are weekend workers, I'm gonna kill myself. And I'm not kidding. I'm not fucking kidding. I will kill myself if my only fucking place of refuge, my only fucking happy place, my place where it's supposed to be quiet and peaceful and I'm supposed to be alone. If I can't have that, I have no, I have no fucking point in living. Literally no fucking point in living. <sighs> Autism is a superpower. Autism is a superpower. I can't fucking do any work if there is construction noise. If there's a beep, 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 I literally can't fucking concentrate. I want to punch a wall. I want to fucking kill myself. I want to die. I just drove two hours to be here, and I'm seriously considering driving two hours back because I can't fucking deal with this. I honestly fucking can't. It's not a superpower. It's a fucking disability. Stop trying to make it into something it's not. I can't fucking handle it. Oh, just turn on the fan. I'll just turn on some white noise. What part of I don't con I can't concentrate with noise? Do you not understand? I came here because it's quiet. It's usually supposed to be completely fucking silent. Sometimes I can hear some birds. That's fucking it. That's fucking it. I shouldn't have to blast sound in my own home. That's fucking outside of town, next to the goddamn mountain, next to the river. I shouldn't have to be blasting sound to drown out tractors. Okay, first of all, principle. Second of all, then I'm just going to be listening to the fan. Then I'm just going to be listening to the sound. It's not going to help. I can't have sound. What do you not fucking understand about that? Also, like, white noise and shit makes me so fucking anxious. Like, my heart rate goes up so much. Sometimes I'll be, like, on the brink of a panic attack. Like, nauseous, about to throw up. My heart's going so fast. I'm, I feel like I need to run. And then the fridge fan stops. And I realize the fridge was going. And then everything's okay again. That's how intense it is. Like, please, please don't fucking call me a crybaby or some shit. I have a fucking disability, and I'm so sick of people being like, oh, you're high-functioning, you have high-functioning autism because, like, I can work a job, which I can. I haven't worked a job since I was 18, or because, like, I can, like, go to school. Like, fucking, I'm not functioning. I am so fucking low-functioning, but people think because I'm verbal, because I can fucking speak... And because I can, like, present myself in society that I'm, like, functioning. It takes every fucking fiber of my being to function. When other people can just do it so easily. Other people can just, oh, I'll just turn on some music. Oh, I'll just, like, tune out of the sound. I can't fucking do that. So don't fucking call me high functioning when it takes every ounce of fucking effort to function in this society. And it's killing me. It's killing me. I think that's why I'm so sick and dizzy and dying today and feel like I've been roofied. Because I'm probably using every fucking fiber of my being to function in society for the first time in years. And it's not working out. Okay, I'm fucking sick of it. I'm fucking sick of all the YouTube video homework assignments. I really fucking am. I should be able to pick what I watch on YouTube. I get enough education on YouTube. What the fuck is this? I'm halfway through an assignment right now. And there has been four YouTube videos in this assignment. Four YouTube videos in one assignment. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Teach, 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 teach me. One that sends the meerkat I watch the same meerkat the... documentary as you, dude. No one's gonna understand this reference. But I gotta watch a meerkat documentary. I could. Oh, oh, we should be using class time for this. 
Oh, or they'll show me YouTube videos. Oh! And the thing is, I would understand. I would understand if, like, in each class, once a week, twice a week, we had a YouTube video to watch. But it is one week into school, and I have been forced to watch over 20 YouTube videos. No exaggeration. I know I'm one for hyperbole, but I'm not right now. I'm not hyperbolizing. I have watched over 20 YouTube videos. For what? Five YouTube videos. Five YouTube videos in one lesson. I think that's fucked up. I think I might drop out. I know that I've been saying that school would be a lot harder if I did something harder, like science. But like, there is a toxic part of my brain that's still like, especially since I'm manic, that's still like, I could go to medical school. Like, I especially, I just read the stupidest book, Suicide Med, Freedom McFadden. Usually, some of the Freedom McFadden books, I'm like, okay, that was not well written, but I had fun. That one, I did not even have fun. That one, go read the reviews for it, too, because I'm not the only one. Fucking hell. Even her, like, most diehard fans are like, what the fuck is this? Okay? But the main character in it, as in every main character Freedom McFadden's ever written, so stupid. Stupid. Too stupid to even exist. Like, she's too stupid to even be real. And she's in medical school, and I'm like, and she's not doing very well. But she's, she's doing it. And she's like in this anatomy class and she like thinks her teacher might be a murderer. Everyone thinks her teacher might be a murderer. Um, and I'm just like, I could do this. Cause she's not even doing it that well. And she's really stupid, but she's still passing. Like I, if she can pass, I, and there was another really stupid girl and she was sleeping with the teacher and so the teacher wasn't changing her grades but the teacher was helping her study after they would have sex i'm like yeah that i could do that well you can't do construction in this they're gone i got my wish i guess i should have wished specifically though i want to go to the river and only hear birds in river because that's what I wanted. Now I don't really feel like going to the river in this. But, lesson learned, I'll be more specific in my manifestations. Oh, oh, did you just see that? Oh my God, did you just see that? Holy shit. Yeah. I'm blaming myself for the storm. I'm literally like, oh no, I manifested this terrible storm and the tree is falling apart. I no, it's literally weathered. I have nothing to do with it. Oh, I was trying to cook noodles and the damn power's out. No, in the middle of my noodles. And honest to God, I'm not doing a bit when I say I think I'm smart enough for medical school. When I took health professions in high school, it was a dual enrollment class, right? College credit, 98%. And yeah, I had to like study pretty hard to get that, but like it's a lot of memorization. So anyone would have to study pretty hard to get an A, let alone a 98%. The only person in the class to beat me was my enemy and also my crush. And I wanted to do like an academic rivals thing. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do better than him in the class. And it's gonna like create this tension and we're gonna do this. But instead I was always like, I swear to God, one fucking percentage point behind him and everything. We'd take a test, I'd get a 98, he'd get a 99 or a 100, or I'd get a 99 and he'd get a 100. It was so hard. It really brought me down, but at the end of the day, I won because he's a cheater now, and so he's getting divorced, and I don't even know if he's going to have access to his child. So who won now, Mr. 99%?